Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. I want to talk a little bit about compression. So, lots of people overlook their legs and compression and what you should be doing when you're done with the ride. So, when you get done with a ride, you really need to make sure that you're getting the lactic acid out of your legs. So, one of the best things you can do for that is find a wall, put your legs up against the wall, and sit there for five minutes, and then just milk your legs straight down them really hard, be aggressive, really milk down your legs and get that lactic acid out. Another thing that you should do is wear compression. There's all sorts of compression out there, but uh, these Vital Socks are just absolutely amazing to me. Um, I've never wore anything except for the Normatex that I just say, wow, you noticed instantly that you've got the right product on. So this was the very first pair of socks that I actually tried from them and they do, uh, they come clear up through on the leg and you will instantly notice as soon as you put this pair of socks on the difference in your legs and how they feel. I know that they've got some patented technology, I'm not an expert on it as far as the tightness of the compression and what that does for you. Now I also have a full leg just like this that I wear when I go to bed and this full leg makes a huge difference. So once you've milked your leg out if you have a set of Normatex, do a 30-minute uh, session in those, and then when you go to bed, throw this on your legs. And you will absolutely go crazy how your legs feel the next day. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't when you start to look at it. When you start to look at these guys, the way they put stuff together, you'll see that this is ribbed different than this section right here, and you'll see a long section right here. You'll see that they, they really put these together the right way, to get you the ultimate compression that you need to be able to have you recover faster. Now, a lot of people are like, why does Chris Froome and Lance Armstrong and all these guys wear such a higher sock? Well, the reason it is is for compression. The higher the sock you get while you're cycling, the more blood flow you can get, supposedly the better results you get. So a lot of guys wear compression on the bike. I know that they're looking to put rules in that you can't you know, wear only but a certain height of sock in all sorts of different racing venues. And that's because of blood flow and getting that lactic acid out. So make sure you're looking. I wear compression on my arms. I use it on my legs. And, um, you know, the brand right now that I am absolutely in love with is right there. So uh, Vital Socks, check them out. Uh, Google these guys. I've bought lots of their stuff uh, and I've been trying it out and I just don't find anything else that compares to what they're doing right now. Now, if you have some input or some suggestions, you know we're always looking. We'd love to bring you the, right, the greatest stuff and the best stuff. Make a comment below, uh, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk a little bit more about compression. But what I do, legs go up, milk the legs down after five minutes, jump in the Normatex, uh, which is this right here. If you don't know what they are, they're a big air compression system. They do an amazing job of getting your lactic acid out of your legs. After that, that evening when you go to bed, you wear a full leg like this. And during the day, if you're still feeling it, you go to a sock like this right here. And then on the bike, if you want, you go to something like this, and then you can wear whatever sock you want underneath it. So that's kind of the full range of compression, things you ought to think about doing uh, to make sure that your body's in the best shape it can be. Uh, as you go out there and ride. So big thing is get out there, keep cycling strong and have a lot of fun.